What is conflict? Conflict can be many things such as war, fighting, arguments and different opinions. What do people think? We ask our young people. What's conflict? Suffering and um, pain. Be horrible when you fight to each other and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. When people have two, two different opinions of a, a subject. If people haven't anything organised to do, then they tend to get into bother and that can bring them in conflict with other young people or in conflict with uh, their parents or older people or their neighbours. Different area, differences in background, different, different schools. Uh, it can be something. It can be a different. It can be gang related between different youths and different gangs, or some or some tension between different youths. Conflict hasn't affected me in my own life, but there are some kind of some situations where people might get into conflict and then they won't feel safe in another area. Because of all this, like new gangs and that, and you can't go to a different like areas and that, um, it makes you more wary and that. I've got people that don't like me, and I've got you know friends that do like me, and uh, obviously the people that don't like me, they 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 can catch me anywhere, anytime. So then something can go down. You know? Because that stuff has happened between my friends, and that, that that stopped me from going to different places, and me not being able to do certain things because I'm known as one of them. Like if I go into their territory, blah blah blah, like they could cause in like for example conflict. So that's why like, I have to stay out of different places, and I can't always do what I want to do. Conflict can happen when one person sees a threat. Or it's not necessarily both groups. Um, it's important to get both sides of the story. We asked one other youth group of their um, thoughts. It's an argument between two people or two groups of people where they have a disagreement about something. Most of the times when we go to another person's area, they have they was ask us what area they're from, and the thing is that sometimes they have conflict with some people in our, our area. So the issue is that they give us hassle because just because we know the person and. I'm a friend of him, they start bringing the issue to personally to us or me. Um, if any boys come to this area, they're, they're, they're just mm -hmm. unknown and to be honest, the one thing they don't want and we don't want is trouble. Sometimes it's better not to get involved in things, otherwise it comes back on you and you don't want that, like, you just want to kind of stay out of it. Have an argument with someone, just one person just call down and then just discuss with each other, calm the other person down. It could, get, it could be resolved by help with other people. I think police handle conflict between young people very harshly and I think that why because they jump into inclusions. When I got stopped by two CID, uh, they tried throwing me to the floor and that obviously innit? And then one of my one of the neighbours come out and they explained to them and, I, and they let me go, but they was gonna nick me for suspicion of robbery when I just come out of my house thirty minutes ago. If it's a big crime that they usually committed then yeah, they should um put put out the correct sanctions but other than that they should just like Sometimes just let leave them alone. I approach the youth in a more positive way, like to try to solve the situation, like to for the youth to get to know the police more instead of seeing them in a negative way into a more positive way. They can organise talks and discussions between them and young people to resolve any problems that like create conflicts. Workshops like bike projects, that they come to youth clubs, sit down and like question the answers, please can answer it for us, and, like reason why they do it and like read some of the laws like so we can know what our rights are because like some people like police they take it overboard and they do stuff that they're not allowed to and stuff so we know our own rights so then we can know when they're allowed to do something and they're not. What, what can the government and local authority do to help young people avoid conflict is that help giving us more opportunities in, in the future and now because we need it the most rather than spending a lot of money within for the Olympics while while we need it more than what the Olympics gonna do to the London. Can like they can help with conflict, like by getting involved, like getting getting community involved with more project as you know. They should open up more places where youths can show like buildings, old buildings, youth clubs, things like that. So youths can just have more fun. Put more money into the youth projects to keep the youths more occupied during the daytime and the evening if the youth club's still open because that's when the youth are on the streets and if they ain't got nothing to do then they're just going to be on the street corner making noise or doing crimes. Conflict, whether expressed or not, evokes change, whether the change is positive or negative, depends on how the situation is resolved. 
Stuff like the Unity Cup is a great way to stop conflict and bring all different types of people together. Um, it helps people come together and play a game which they both, both uh, oppositions love. It can help them to make friends. By helping people to come together and do more activities and socialise with each other. Events like this and all the work that goes in during the year trying to bring young people together is a way of avoiding conflict. Because this is a sport where we all like and enjoy, so we all have things in common. By making like huge events like these, you know what I mean? Play some loud music, everyone's in a good mood, you know what I mean? It'll be, it'll be fun. Yeah, well played. Well done, fantastic.